How's it everybody, Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Toilet Luck Strikes again. We have the Super AGL Android 21 here. We're gonna showcase her at 55% level one. Ladies. We got her right at the gate, freshly Dokkan Awaken. We're gonna take a look at um, how good she is at this level. So let's take a look at her passive. She's got a whole lot going on. She's got attack and defense 150%. She gives all allies key two and an additional attack and defense 120% when attacking. She has a high chance of evading the enemy's attack within the same turn, plus an additional key to an attack 60% for three turns after evading an attack. She launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack and launches another additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack starting from the turn in which she performs the third attack in battle. She disables enemies' actions once only, and from the turn in which the character performs the sixth attack in battle, she has a great chance of performing a critical hit starting on the next turn. So, we got her here on turn one. Um, we actually got three links active with her with the Gammas. Um, so, the thing with her is she is most certainly a slot two unit so she needs units to cover her slot one now the nice thing about that is she's got a few good options she's got the gamma one as you can see here um she's got bulma who share three links with her on both ends right so you could run bulma and or gamma one as one of her um uh slot one units even if they're on the 170 right the way gamma one works he'll work more than fine here um, and then he can have her her other support unit, like if you have the, oh man, that animation looks so good. Oh, there we go, we get the additional attack. Um, her banner support unit with the evil 21, or even that free-to-play option, right? Like, can fill out the rest of her lines. Ooh, that could have been a super right there. Wow, okay, so there we go. So this is what I was talking about when I was reviewing her, right? Her, her additional, once that third attack procs, you have a guaranteed fourth attack that has a 70% chance. Now, we, did, we didn't get that 70% chance, but hey, we got it. I'm Dr. Hedo's greatest creation, and I'm awesome, a superhero! All right. Oh, that's right. Right now, it's snack time! Excellent. So, um, we... We'll keep the friend here. We'll rotate off the. Uh, we'll we'll rotate off the the evil twenty one because I do want to get her over there. So we did manage to pull her on a fresh single too, um, right before we pulled the android twenty one. So like it was like, you know, we had a situation where like you know we had good luck on the single, and I was like, you know what, we're not gonna pass up this good luck. Let's try a multi, and lo and behold, we get a Zeno animation. So. Woohoo! We got 21, guys. Alright, so I'm definitely seeing a lot I don't like here, right? The the lack of attack power here, the not having crit is bothering me. Alright, we'll see how she looks, right? You know, she does get effective against all types, right? Uh, when she... Um when she transforms and like right now she can get crit so I mean I can understand why you won't need it but obviously right now it's causing us problems all right and evil 21 here I mean not gonna be the main focus of the showcase here but she does share five links with the ooh, she got the additional attack too she just share five links with the Android 21 um, that's nice. Ooh. Okay, not too bad. It should be around here. Alright, so I'm actually gonna keep our two on, right? So because I mean she's only raising for one turn. Not getting anything extra, but maybe you know what? We could just stick her in slot one. Yeah, let's let's see what she does here. Um, in slot one. So, I mean, with the gamma and the the Bulma support, they're 160k at level one links. Um, so 
She's definitely, as an android, right, links are going to be very important for her. Like, uh, I think it's android, is it android assault? Yeah. So, like, android assault, right, that 20% defense she's getting is going to be huge, right? Uh, um, yeah, almost all of her defense, right, yeah, she's getting a lot of defense from her key. Shocking speed, scientist, android assault, um, uh, uh, Metamorphosis, although that's also giving us attack, yeah. She's got a ton of defensive links, so, like, in her, right, you know, people are gonna call her fraud, but then haven't leveled up her links, like, yeah, of course she's not doing well, she's missing, yeah, okay, look at that. So that's what I'm talking about, right? she's not a slot one. Don't use her slot one, please. <laughs> um, however, you know, running her at level one links, you ought to be able to get her, her, you should still be able to see what you need to see to kind of get a good idea of how she works here. There we go. So there's that sixth attack, right? So you saw that action cancel. But look at that. We had a four, we, we had a four super turn, and then there goes the critical hit after that. Um, so not bad once you actually perform what's needed to perform for her. All right, so... Um... Yeah, let's just keep doing that because we got the we had the other gammas coming. So, how's the links on this one? Uh, like mid links. Okay, that's fine. All right, so a lot better on the friend here, but th that little bit of defensive links up. Then again, we were also type disadvantage over there, so you know, to be fair. And I think this friend is 79% too, so there's also that to consider. The extra dupe power does help. Alright. Once we get the gamma rotation set up, we'll be moving a little bit faster, right? We obviously didn't have the best starting rotation for ourselves, but now we're now we're looking good. Very good. Excellent. Alright, so now we actually have a pretty decent turn here. Because we can transform. So, alright, her transformation is very simple. It's just simply fifth turn um, facing only one enemy. So, very, very easy to do. So, we're actually going to go ahead. We're going to transform her. There's no reason to wait. Right? There's, she's not stacking infinitely or anything. So, there's really no reason to wait. So, let's go ahead and do this. Alrighty, so once you transform her into transformed good state, we're now uh, raising our attack and defense, but also recovering every time we do super. Now, had we have lost a bunch of HP here, we would have recovered 30% of it. We'll also get additional attack and defense 210%. We'll give our allies key 2. We'll also uh, get an additional key to 121%. When attacking, we do have damage reduction um, and an additional defense 60% uh, within the same turn after receiving an attack. We have two additional attacks with 70% chance of becoming a super, and we also recover 21% uh, HP. So we could probably get away with putting her, like in the Shadow Dragons event, we could definitely get away with keeping her slot one um, and keeping her links up. Um, but in most events, you're gonna want to keep her, um, you're gonna want to keep her out of harm's way, right? So, I think what we're gonna do here, yeah, let's do this. Let's put it, because we got 350k defense on her. I, I'm gonna keep these two together for the, the purposes of this showcase. Um, we're gonna grab this with her, and then we'll rotate off the Bulma. Yeah, so, 
All right, we've got 170k. We're linked up with her best link partner. We got a little bit from Bulma, and now we're gonna get the defensive support from Bulma's support. Excellent, and she is raising for four turns, by the way, so she's gonna get a little bit stronger. Honestly, she's not that bad for a 55% banner unit. Um, definitely one I'm gonna be looking forward to pulling more often. All right, because you'll see the next turn, like just how much better defensively she got. So 4.8 on our opening attack. But remember, we, we do have a great chance of launching some extra attacks here. There we go. There we, go. we actually pulled out three supers this turn. Or two additionals. Now, it's possible we could do one more. No. Alright, so next turn, we're going to put her in slot one. And you guys can see her with the slot one. Alright, because remember, she gets that extra little bit um, after receiving an attack. And had we have actually lost HP, we would have been uh, gaining, uh, we would have been gaining HP back with every single one of those hits she was just doing. All right, let's grab that. Let's grab that, and we'll send off this one. We won't transform her just yet because uh, we're actually going to try to set her up next to the other one. Now, it is a shame the Gammas are only on her 170. There we go. And then Gamma 2 should finish up right here. Excellent. All right, so we can use her active skill, but we're going to save it. So 190k defense this turn. We have defense from uh, this guy here. So like I said, we are going to put her in slot one this time around because um, I want to test her. Uh, I just want to see how much damage she'll take. Obviously, she's still kind of meant to be a slot two unit and to be complete. Oh, wow. That is a lot she's taken on that first hit. Um, okay. A lot more than I expected. Yeah, she's still definitely a slot 2 or 3 unit. And to be completely honest, if you're running her team, I would just run both of them in slot 3. So that way at the end of everything, right, at the end of, uh, you know, every other turn, you're getting a big heal from her off of her super attacks. I, I, I honestly believe that's the way to go with her. Yeah, she's definitely meant to be floating utility as a Dokkan Fest, right? And which is fine, right? Everybody has their role, right? Bulma has her, her utility in slot one, providing the support. Um, okay, let's do this. Of course, Gamma 1 is sealed. There we go. Or not Gamma 1, Gamma 2. Now here's the question: Can we do enough on the crits to take him down? Because it's gonna be—it's gonna depend on how many he get. Well, with only two now, yeah. So, and that's the other thing I'm noticing about her team, right? With her, what I'm noticing is there is a huge lack of offensive firepower. I think on her team, her biggest hitters are probably post transformation Rose, right? Because what is she? What is her other one? Margin power. Oh, never mind. Rosé is not even on her leader skill. She's on Rosé's, right? So, um, I think her biggest hitter is probably Int Spell. Um, but, again, there's a little, you know, there's the trick to that. Um, or probably 
Super Boo actually would be her biggest hitter. Super Boo's on her 100%. Okay, so we have we 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 have her linked up. Like this is the best link she's ever gonna have. Um, notice right, and there's no real person to run big bad bosses for her either, is what I'm noticing. There we go. All right, so we're gonna do this and get out of here. But then again, I mean, we wouldn't be activating, well, I, we wouldn't be activating big bad bosses in here anyways at level one links. So that's, that's worthy of no, right? At level one links, big bad bosses not gonna activate unless we are super low HP, which is just not happening here, right? So even though we're linked with the other 21, she's just not gonna have it. And to me, that's just really funny, her having big bad bosses as a super class unit. That's just hilarious. There we go. We get the extra super out of her. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, for her, in terms of link-wise, her best Big Bad Boss's partners are herself, right? <laughs> the Fizz version and the other AGL one, if you're running two of them. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's grab that. I think after this rotation, we're going to leave Bulma on the other rotation. I think that's the idea. There we go. Alright, let's see. How much is Gamma 2 gonna do here? There we go. We get an additional normal. Dude, what is going on with my, uh... RNG today does not want to get those additional supers, I guess. Jeez, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Alright, so we actually got a little bit of a heal here, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Can we not get five? No? Okay, so we're going to activate Bulma's active. Excellent. Okay, so now what we're gonna do... Alright, we're gonna grab these. Alright, with Bulma. And then, let's go ahead and let's do her active. Alright, not bad. Four million there. We get the action cancel out of it. Honestly, that's not too bad, and I believe it gives us a secondary effect as well, right? Um, raises attack, ultimate damage, cancels the action, and then we get effective against all types for this turn. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. So honestly, not looking too bad on the active skill turn. Um, obviously, with crit or additionals into her, this she's, she's definitely going to be a lot better, providing a lot more, but I mean... There's a couple different ways you can build them. I'll definitely put out a video uh, going over her best builds, but I mean, I feel like this is a character that there's no, there, there's an argument for whichever. The extra supers give you more heal. The crit helps you early on, right? Um, dodge just helps you stay alive. Like, there's an argument for each, so I'll definitely have to do a video breaking down the best ideas. All right, so let's do this number. Alright, so we'll actually...
actually put her in front, uh, since this is, after all, an Android 21 showcase. We're gonna grab that, and then... Alright, so not bad, but again, in a, in a, in a level 1 rank showcase, I mean, we're not going to see the raw attack power out of her that I know she's capable of, right? Um, and that's simply because, again, at level 1 links, like every other villain, lacking big death bosses definitely hurts <laughs> that way. Like, Cooler is a, 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 Cooler is a great example of this. He is, like, night and day difference between level 1 and level 10 links, and I, I'm sure the same is true for her. There we go. Hey, we actually proc the additional out on uh, Gamma 1 here. Which means if Gamma 2 can actually proc a bunch of additionals, we can go ahead and just finish this now. We've seen everything we need to see. Or actually, if he just gets the crate here, I think he's good. They work in pretty well despite only being on the 170 here. There it is. Okay, perfect. Nice nice job there, uh, Gamma 2. Alright, so there you have it, folks. There is Android 21 at level 1 Ling's 55% showcase. Honestly, not that bad. I definitely see where her use lies, right? It is definitely in her utility as a floating healing unit. I would... I mean, you, you could play around with her on rotation, but definitely in some of these newer fights with massive attacks and a lot of AoEs, I think her utility is healing back up the damage you've taken with those multiple supers. Obviously, that's turn 5, but still. Um, she also has that dodge chance, right, after super attacking, which is helpful. Um, and she also gets extra dodge chance with uh, one of her links as well. So... With that extra dodge boost that she's going to get, um, she, she'll be mostly protected. Her defense is high enough, right? I think she gets up to, like, a little over 1.1 uh, or 900k, I think, at full max level links and a uh, triple super. Uh, she, she's over a mil, which is enough to tank normals from every single attack. And, I mean, there's only a couple supers that are going to deal a bunch of damage to her, right? Especially if she's type disadvantaged. But, otherwise, she's, you know, she's pretty good. I think she's got a good role. Definitely not a unit I would go out of, out of your way to get. But, you know, if you do manage to pull her, she does have a use. She also works really well, as I said, on Rosé's team, providing extra healing for the Dragon Ball Heroes team, which already has a ton of low HP and not enough healing. So definitely, she's got some use there as well. So guys, that is it for the video. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know if you've pulled the Android 21 or you've tried to test her out. Let me know. How did it go in the comments down below? Would love to hear your experience with this character in the comments down below. Otherwise, guys, as always, thanks for watching. And aloha.